Now we'll make the USB connections. There are two of them. One is this micro USB cable that connects the Arduino and its shield to the Wi-Fi board. The connection goes between the shield and the Wi-Fi board directly. And the other one is from the camera. One thing which I noticed, at least in my set, the camera cable is a little too short and it is difficult to easily reach to the Wi-Fi board on the bottom. It is barely, barely possible to reach the cable if you move the camera around. For this reason, I decided to use a USB extension cable that I had available and we we'll use this cable to connect the camera and later I'll tighten the cable securely to the chassis. Let's start with the camera. I will protrude this cable through one of the openings to reduce the clutter I will protrude it through the central opening under the Arduino board having it done with such extender makes it actually easy to connect or disconnect the camera if you decide at later point so even if you don't have such extender, I would recommend you to get one and use it with the robot. They shouldn't be expensive or difficult to find. If you don't have it, you can directly hook the camera to the Wi-Fi board underneath. Here is the connector. We have to be careful not to damage the manipulator. In any case, here is the connector where the USB camera has to be connected. So we'll get this end of the extender oriented properly and see to insert it. The space is a bit tight, but we still may be able to do it. As you can see, I was able to plug the cable. And now the camera is connected. With the Wi-Fi board for remote control. Next, we need to connect the shield with the Wi-Fi board with this cable I will first connect the Wi-Fi board on the bottom to have full freedom as the space tends to be smaller on the bottom again everything will go through the central opening in the chassis Here is the micro USB connector. Hope you can see it well. And I'm carefully and gently plugging the connector in. And again, making sure we don't damage the manipulator during this process. Now we need to plug this end of the USB cable into the Arduino shield. These are all the USB connections we need to do. Now all I'll need to do is securely tighten this cable probably with pigtails or other tightener so they will not be uh, going all over the place. 